This list was hard to put together. There are so many features I frequently use in Evernote. For example, the templates I created to help me with my clients, with the videos here on YouTube. But these ones, these are the ones I use every day. Some of them multiple times a day. Common J, definitely number one in my list. I use this all the time. Common J is on a Mac. If you use Windows, it's Ctrl Q. Unfortunately, there is no way to use it on Evernote for web. This will bring a pop-up window where you can start typing and find notes, notebooks, stacks, and tags. But it will only be truly efficient if you have a naming system for your tags, your notebooks, and your stacks. I try my best to create names with a single word and as simple as possible. For example, health, YouTube, trips, clients. It's easier to remember and when you start typing, the names will show up in the list. You just click there and jump to that notebook. I read and write a lot in Evernote and every time I'm working on a note, I will open it in a separate window. To do it, go to the upper right corner and click the three dots, then select open in new window. You can also double tap a note. It will work on home and also in the notes list. I do this so many times that I would love a keyboard shortcut. I have already requested this on Evernote forms. And if it's something that you would like to see, there's a link in the description below. You can upvote my request. I see at least two benefits here. Focus is of course the main one. What I do is move Evernote's main window and all other windows to my side display. And I keep the note that I'm working on on the main display, which brings us to the second benefit. With Evernote in two windows, I can keep the note that I'm working on always in front of me and I can go to Evernote and, I don't know, look for something, read something, or even write something in another note. There's no open in new window option if you are using Evernote on a web browser, but there's a solution. First, open Evernote in two tabs, then click and drag one of the tabs to separate them, create two windows. Keep Evernote in one of the tabs and on the other tab, look for the note you want to work on or create a new note. Finally, expand that note to have it using the entire window. You can also resize the window if you think it is more comfortable for you. There's one final tip here that will work on the desktop app or in the browser. Click the three dots again and select note width and finally optimize readability. It will add two margins. The text will be in the center of the note. It's a personal preference, of course, but I love this. A lot of my students don't know it exists and when they learn about it, they usually don't know what to do with the shortcuts area in the sidebar. I've been using it forever. My tip here is think of it as your desk, for example. It's a place where you have everything that you need all the time. Let's say your computer, maybe a cup of coffee or tea, a lamp, a charger, anything that you need all the time can be in the shortcuts area. Please remember to change the items you have there. Keep there what you are really working on at that moment or that week, that month, whatever. But if you're not using something anymore, remove it from there. If you are constantly looking for a note, notebook, stack, a tag, add it to the shortcuts area. When Evernote released Home, I was having a hard time trying to figure out what should I keep as a shortcut and what should I move 
to home. You can even add saved searches to the shortcuts area. And I think that was the problem. It took me a while, but they are now both in perfect harmony in my Evernote. Here's what I'm doing. Home is a place for dynamic information. I have several filtered notes, widgets, and also several videos about this topic here on the channel. So watch them to learn how I, how I set up my Evernote home. And the shortcuts area is, again, a place for shortcuts. I have there some of the notebooks I use frequently, for example, the YouTube videos, the, my clients, my trips. In other words, my desk with the things I use all the time. Again, sidebar versus home. To have your recent notes in the sidebar, click the settings icon, the new settings icon, then select sidebar, and finally, recent notes. This is another feature I use several times a day that I also move to home. There are two options there, the notes widget, it's exactly the same information that we have in the recent notes in the sidebar. The notes are there, but you can see the icons of the notes instead of the name, the title of the note. However, there's another widget that will help you see or filter information by type. When you add that widget to home, you see the options to filter by web clips, images, documents, audios, and emails. Like I said, I use them all the time. I have both at the bottom of the home page. And to understand how useful they can be, please watch the other video. This one I use all the time, several times a day. I used to have my Google Calendar uh, on my side screen and Evernote on the main screen. Guess what I'm doing now? I have two Evernote windows. The main Evernote window stays on the side screen. The note I'm using stays in front of me. I love this setup. I keep Google Meet and the note right in front of me. Sometimes they are in different tabs. I switch from one tab to the other. Google Meet in one tab, Evernote in the other tab. I can look at the other window and check the calendar widget. I'll see that line representing the time passing. I'll see my next appointments. I can even click the, the little note icon to open another note if that's the case. It's perfect. Can you see all this working together? The two windows, a main window with the calendar, a window I'm taking notes on, the margins. I can use Common J to jump to another window or maybe go to Evernote Home and check the note I was working minutes ago. Maybe the sidebar, check a video, click on YouTube. This will bring me to the YouTube notebook. I use these features all the time. Now it's your turn. Please use the comments below and let us know what's your favorite feature. Two, three, four, <laughs> write as many as you like. See you soon.